Hello everyone, today I'm going to be discussing the top 5 games that I am looking forward to coming out in this year, 2024. Without any further ado, let's get started. The number 5 spot could have gone to one of two games, but I am ultimately giving it to Little Kitty Big City. It, it's an indie game, I believe, and it basically looks like Goat Simulator, but with a cat. I mean, wh wh how can you not be excited for that? Goat Simulator with a cat. What is there to dislike about the idea of it? Honestly, I don't even think I need to say anymore. Like, as soon as I, I, I think it was my fiance who sent me a picture on Instagram, she was like, hey, this game looks interesting. And I'm like, oh my word, it's a game where you play as a cat. Like, that, that is honestly all you need to say to sell me on a game. It, you play as a cat, that's good enough for me. But this game just looks like Goat Simulator Cat Edition. It comes in at number five. Coming in at number four. Four, I am putting Toilet Paper Simulator here. Now, this is a upcoming comedy horror game. I should specify that for both number 5 and 4, a release date has not yet been confirmed, but they are supposed to come out this year. Toilet Paper Simulator is an indie horror comedy game, which looks like it's going to be very similar to Hello Neighbor, but you play as a roll of toilet paper that is trying to escape from an old man who wants to use you to wipe his butt. If that isn't like the ideal, the ideal game, I don't know what is. That's like comedy horror at, excuse me, at its finest. Like this has the chance to be better than Toilet Chronicles. It's probably going to be better than a dump in the dark. Toilet Paper Simulator comes in at my number four spot. Coming in at my number three spot, the Lollipop Chainsaw Remaster. An official release date has not yet been confirmed. It's speculated it might come out this summer. It might not even come out this year. But the Lollipop Chainsaw Remaster, Lollipop Chainsaw Repop, I love the original game. It's one of my favorite hack and slashes. It's probably my second favorite hack and slash. It, it had an amazing soundtrack, although probably they are going to have to alter the soundtrack a little just due to... I, I, I personally doubt they went and re-licensed every single song from the first game. And that being said, Tara Strong, Juliet's voice actor, unfortunately passed away, so they're they're gonna have someone else be doing the voice acting. And James Gunn is no longer involved. He was involved with the original game. But Lollipop Chainsaw Repop, that's my number three spot my number three spot. Now coming in at number two, this game might not be coming out in 2024. Honestly, very little has actually been confirmed about it by THQ Nordic, but that is the last Ronin game. The book was absolutely amazing. Like, that book was really what truly sparked my interest in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I mean, I'd always kind of liked them, but The Last Ronin, that, that was like such a dark, grim, gritty book. It was just filled with action and a very deep story. It's supposed to be like an RPG hack and slash. Uh, it's been compared to God of War, which I personally have not played, but I have played Dante's Inferno, which apparently is very similar to it. Now, you're, you're going to be able to play as all four turtles. I think THQ said you'd be able to play as Master Splinter as well. And like I said, the story for this game is just absolutely amazing. Well, the story for the book is absolutely amazing. I, I really hope this game that Nickelodeon allows it to be brutal enough to get an M rating because it really does need an M rating just because of how dark and just just dark and disturbing that the story is. There, there's quite a bit of gore, not, not, not necessarily gore, but there's quite a bit of blood in the book. Um, and I, I'm not going to spoil the book for anyone who hasn't read it yet, but that that's number two spot. Like I said, that one's not confirmed to come out this year. It might, it might not. Now, coming in at number one, Killing Floor 3. This game looks like it could be even better than Killing Floor 2, which is one of my favorite games of all time. The graphics look insane. I mean, if they just kept... Now, now, now we've only seen like a one-minute trailer of this game. Tripwire hasn't really confirmed a lot about it. But just from what, from what little bit we have seen, I mean, if literally all they did was take Killing Floor 2 and just give it better graphics, I would legitimately just be happy with leaving it there. They've probably add all sorts of new weapons, probably add some additional Zeds, but like I said, the graphics look absolutely insane. Tripwire Interactive, I mean, Killing Floor 1 was good. Killing Floor 2 was like a huge improvement off of Killing Floor 1. They improved everything. I have really, really high hopes for Killing Floor 3. I will very likely be pre-ordering it the second 
it, it's officially confirmed for a pre-order and apparently this is going to be like the first killing floor game not counting the vr game to really have a story in it the first two games a story was there but it was really weak killing floor 3 is supposed to really have a story integrated into it so i am really really looking forward to killing floor 3 well, that is my top five list, everyone. I really want to know your thoughts down in the comments. I did consider putting South of Midnight on here, but ultimately, I'm just, I'm not super excited for it. I mean, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, but I really don't think it's worthy of a spot on this list. And I really wish I could have put Alice Asylum on here, but thanks to greedy EA canceling the game that people have been asking for for over a decade, I can't put it on this list because EA. Well, that's my list, everyone. Again, I hope you enjoyed watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. Always remember that Jesus loves you very much. Hope everyone has a blessed day. Goodbye.